Hi, I'm Charlene, and the question that we are going to focus on with this lesson is, what makes a strong password and why is it important to protect it? Authentication provides a method for identifying users. A password is a secret word or phrase that only you, the authorized user, know. Password authentication is a process that confirms that you know the correct information to use on an account or device. You most likely have different online accounts that require passwords. Making a strong password and keeping it safe is important to protect your information and accounts online. In this lesson, you will learn how to create and protect a strong password so that your personal information online stays safe. You're going to watch the cyber.org video, Making Strong Passwords, in just a moment. Make sure you have a piece of paper out. As you watch the video, go ahead and jot down any tips you hear for making a strong password. Welcome to another episode of our Cyber Safety Series, where we give you tips on staying safe online. In this video, we're covering making strong passwords. First, let's discuss what to avoid when making a strong password. You never want to choose anything that is too easy. Passwords such as 123456 or any other common numeric pattern are considered fairly weak. Yes, even for those that are thinking they are clever and want to use the patterns 1123813 or 314159 as passwords should probably avoid those. Along with common numeric patterns, you should avoid single word dictionary words as passwords. Those are typically the easiest passwords for someone to figure out, especially the word password or any alternate spelling of passwords, such as replacing the two S's with dollar signs. So what is an easy way to make a strong password out of seemingly random letters, numbers, and symbols? Consider forming a sentence about something that's easy for you to remember. For example, if you really like tacos, then you might choose the phrase, tacos al pastor are the best. Then take elements from that sentence and turn them into a combination of lower and uppercase letters, numbers, and symbols. For example, this combination right here. This password uses uppercase letters when a new word from the phrase begins. Additionally, the first word, tacos, is spelled out, but the letters are replaced with symbols and numbers. The letter R is used to represent the word R. And finally, two greater than symbols, followed by an exclamation, then a heart, made with the less than and the number three, are used to represent the best. Now go and try to make one yourself. Stay safe out there. Now that you've watched the video, do you know any tips for making a strong password that were not discussed in the video? Go ahead and add your own tips to that same list. Now we're going to give you a handout. You're going to compare the list that you made with the handout. Compare your strong password list to the Making Strong Passwords checklist on the page that you were provided. How does your list compare? Discuss the strengths and weaknesses of your current password creation practices with the neighbor in the classroom. How confident are you that you are currently using strong passwords for your accounts? You can show me. An open hand with all five fingers displayed shows that you are confident that you're currently using strong passwords for your accounts. A closed fist means the opposite, that you know you are not using strong passwords and that your current passwords are not meeting any of the features of a strong password. So zero is your fist and five, an open hand, shows that you're confident with your password. Using this scale, show me with your hand how confident you are that you're currently using strong passwords for your accounts. Now we're going to have you move into groups of two and each student in your group is going to need a making and protecting passwords handout. Now that you have an idea of what makes a strong password, you get to practice making one. Working with your partner, ask them questions so you can create a strong password that they will be able to remember. Your partner will also interview you and create a strong password for you. Working together, create a list of questions that will help you get to know your partner better. 
you're going to use your partner's answers to these questions to form a strong password that your partner can remember but will not reveal your partner's identity. Think, what questions would provide information specific to your partner but would not reveal your partner's identity? For example, what is your favorite food or what is your favorite color? Now interview your partner with your questions and record their responses. Also, use the Making Strong Passwords checklist from the handout to make a strong password for your partner that the partner will remember but will not reveal their identity. Show the strong password that you have created to your partner. Think about the following questions before discussing this with your partner. Did the password your partner created for you meet the criteria of a strong password? Is this password one that you could use and remember without revealing your identity? A strong password is your first line of defense to protect your personal information online. Once you know how to make a strong password, you then need to keep that password safe from cyber attackers online. These additional tips can help you to protect your password. Never reveal your password to others, except your parent or your guardian. Use different passwords for different accounts. Use a password manager. A password manager is an online application that safely stores your passwords and can be accessed through one password. Now you're going to review your password protection habits profile cards and evaluate the password protection habits of the featured students using the Making and Protecting Passwords handout and the online password strength tester. Discuss these questions with your partner. What did the student on the profile card do right to secure their password? What did the student on the profile card do wrong to secure their password? And what advice would you give this student to improve their password security and protection habits? A vulnerability assessment analyst is a cybersecurity professional who can audit the passwords of a company and see if there are weak passwords being used. In this lesson, you learned about making a strong password and then keeping that password secure. Why is it important to practice good password habits? What could happen if someone else used your password?